What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing a special little video on the playoffs. We're going to see what Madden thinks will happen in the championship. I can't believe I actually said the championship round and the Packers are a part of it. This is a year, isn't it? The NFC is going to be represented by two teams that combined for, I believe, 10 wins last season. I mean, that's not terribly low, but that's still, you know, what, 10 out of the potential, oh God, 30 plus? That's, you know, a third of the wins that they could have had. Okay, Travis, you need to stop the hell down. Stop the hell down? What the hell does that even mean? I'm hoping this works because I'm in a franchise so that we actually have, you know, the playoff logos and all that, so it's not just like it's a regular season game. But, of course, this is a weird one as well because this is the first time we have non-franchise on a non-rebuild day, which is the weirdest thing to say because we have like two rebuilds a week, so that's not really special at all. Anyways, if you guys like these kind of, you know, peculiar, not maybe peculiar, but out of the norm videos, you know, maybe leave a like, subscribe, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. I have another idea involving the playoffs that I will probably have, and then maybe we'll have some, uh, I don't know, some Pro Bowl crap. Hopefully this works. So now the theory is to change the speed to slow and then go to end of game. And I think that's going to work. I'm, I'm that much of a novice at this. Oh, crap, it's on 15-minute quarters. Yeah, I don't have the time for that. I'm going to have to restart. <laughs> what the hell? I, what do you mean? I, I got to watch the freaking Niners and Packers as well. I don't have time for this. You know, it probably doesn't make that much sense, but, of course, when we do the five-minute quarters, we do pretty much assume that the, uh, you know, whatever the score is, you just triple it, and boom, you're done. Here we are, boys and boys because let's be honest we're all dudes here <laughs> just dudes being dudes the kickoff is sent to the titans said Dion lewis once again i hope all the injuries are right because i literally started this off of their roster i went by uh the active roster the division round and then force one you know the last one is that really what Tannehill had for a season that's not bad because he didn't start out right away did he like not right away you know what i mean is that actually what he had oh that's sick they actually have the stats in the game I don't know how long it took to put that in there, but I'm actually surprised they have that. Okay, maybe that's why franchise doesn't get the love it's supposed to, because they spend all the day. Look at Derek already working. They uh, spend too much damn time on this. Personally, I don't know what assets you guys are using over at EA, but uh, if you could just completely scrap this and just put more time into you know bettering the mode itself, uh, you know, because I once again I don't know if they have. Just a PC, you know, like a computer program that literally just does the work for them. Look at Deion Lewis. He's gone to the 50. <laughs> but yeah, it, this that seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? To show every single week updating the stats. I don't know if they have something like that's implemented from like NFL.com or something where they could just, you know, track the stats. I, does it look like I, if I was somebody that knew the ins and outs of computers... I would not post as much on YouTube. I still would because I actually do like making videos, but I would not post as much because I would be too busy saving the planet with computers. I don't know how you would do that, but okay. B back to the playoff game. Uh, Deion Lewis, all right. I get you don't want to be hit, right? But you're going against the Chiefs linebackers. If you're going to take a chance because you want to, you know, I don't know, maybe win this game to go to the Super Bowl, you probably need to cut that upfield for another five yards for a first down. I mean, look at that. If he would have got the first down, it wouldn't have been close to a pick. But that should have been picked. None of, nonetheless, jokes aside, that should have been a game-changing opportunity. But this is fun so far. I really like this. Normally, it's not as... Oh, look at that. Who caught it? E.J. Brown, the rookie, coming up with a big play. Nice, nice, nice. Once again, heavy formation. This could uh, be a pass, though. You never know. Titans trying to rely on that round game. Of course, the Chiefs with Chris Jones trying to win their matchups. Derrick Henry going to the... Oh, my God. Derrick Henry almost just... Uh, oh, yikes. <laughs> he's hurt. But in this scenario, the way the game's going so far, that might not be the worst thing. I know in real life, he's literally impossible to stop. Uh-oh. That's... Uh, I think he's fine. I think he'll be back. Or he's uh, crippled. One of the two. But Dion G Lewis, that's the guy. He's, he's your guy now. Plenty of time. Finds his man on the curl route. Adam Humphreys with the catch. Somebody in our Titans franchise commented, where's Adam Humphreys? And I said, exactly where he should be. 
on the damn bench. Oh, he was not worth it at all. I don't know if he was injured this season, but 374 yards, two touchdowns. Yikers. Okay, Dion, calm yourself, mate. If you would have just kept running, you would have been fine. Does it actually make sense? To I mean, obviously, we're going to times it by three, but does it actually work out to be the exact same just played the normal game? I think it would, right? Like, my brain is telling me. It's like when somebody says the chances of getting three heads in a row is 50%. But it, it like it's like, yeah, that makes sense, but it isn't, you know? It's 50% each time, but the chance of doing it three times in a row is not the same I guess it is the same chance. What a try. I mean, that was a smart play. You got to try to get there. You believe in your kicker. You can get that anyways. But, yeah, enough enough probability and chance. There's two different things, I suppose. Probability isn't 50%, but the chance technically is. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm. It's me. You, you know? You, you knew what you were clicking onto, right? So, you know, calm yourself. Lining up to kick old men at work for the goal. 3-0 to zero is the start of this one. I expect the Chiefs to put up a touchdown in 15 seconds. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes, 26 touchdowns, 5 picks, 4,000 yards. Uh, touchdowns were down a little bit, but I don't know if they'd ran more in. I know he was injured for a few games, so absolutely insane numbers as per usual. And here's Mahomes, of course, empty backfield. Why would you need a running back? Who needs those? <laughs> when, you're, when you're the Chiefs receivers, who needs a running back? There goes Travis Kelsey, already getting about 8 yards on the play. Of course, the Titans' defense, definitely an underrated story of the postseason. It's a very good and smart team. Who has the better chance of upsetting, the Titans or the Packers? It's without a doubt the Titans, and even then, it's it's barely an upset. The Chiefs' offense is insane, but the Titans might be able to control the entire game with Derrick Henry, so... It's it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. But, of course, the only small reason I wish they didn't make the playoffs is because now it's like, oh, look at you. You chose the Titans in your in your Titans franchise online. Look at you. A, 9-7 and seven is barely good. In the NFC, did 9-7 and seven even make you the playoffs unless you won your division? I don't think it did. So if it was the NFC, they wouldn't be the playoffs. And then B, obviously they were nowhere near as good as they are now. So, you know, it is what it is. But 9-7 definitely would not be a playoff team in the NFC. That's all I'm going to tell you. Mahomes underneath. I mean, they're not really exploding onto the scene here, but they're at midfield. Freaking first down line is thick. And why is it orange? Terrible. Such a delay. Great job off the edge. Bayard, why weren't you a superstar to start the year? I hate EA. I hate everyone. I don't. I know. <laughs> and here... Oh, that's terrible, Malcolm. And I would say you probably run this ball. This is looking fresh. Oh, my God. Jarrell Casey. Let's see what's going to happen. Harold Landry and uh, Wake look like they're coming. They are. Look at him go inside as well. And that was really good defense. Bringing the four-man rush. Perfect blocking. Gets hit last second. And they bring him down in the open field. Really good tackle. The Titans... Of course, going to call a timeout to try and get a shot at it. Maybe it was actually the exact same. It was actually very close. It was like two-yard difference. And it will go right through for a three-all game. A very low-scoring game, but technically it's 9-9 nine to nine right now. you got to remember, we're times in by three because of obviously 15 is three times the, the number that five is, if you couldn't tell. Still going to go to jail for it, but maybe the judge will give you leniency, you know? That's, that's a very deep joke. Some of you guys will get it. And some FBI agent's going to be on my tail. Look at them on his tail. Deion Lewis with a huge play. Derrick Henry does appear to still be injured, but we can't tell because, you know, he might be uh, might be a different scheme there for Deion Lewis. Great throw inside. Tannehill's playing pretty damn well right now. And he does get the first down. I thought he was short. He should have stayed in mound. That's why I don't like Adam Humphreys. What is the penalty for that, by the way? There's got to be some huge fine and all that. Because why wouldn't you, you know, your team is about to give up a touchdown. The guy's running down the sideline. Why not just go in and RKO the guy? There's an interception for Hitchens. Mahomes is not on the field, so I don't know why I brought his name up. And that's going to be a pick six, Tannehill. No. No, Tannehill. You cannot do that. Anthony Hitchens with the pick six -ins. I'm sorry. There, I mean, looking for those flats too hard. Oh, God, my controller. Uh, I don't like Adam Humphreys. I just don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Titans fans. Has nothing to do with him as a person. Maybe not even to do with him as a player in real life. 
I'm just not a huge fan of the how much cap space he took off me in our Titans franchise. Yeah, not not the way you wanted to end that first half at all. Terrible. Such a great opportunity to go up by uh, you know quite a bit. You know, you're holding him to under a negative yardage rushing and only 50 yards, well, 150 yards passing. That's a great half. You know, that's a great half. Of course, see the uh, the Packers versus Niners later today. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch Actually, I can watch it technically. Oh, here they go. Damian Williams fighting hard for almost 15 yards on the ground. Not negative anymore. Third and two from the 46 is a very big opportunity. If the Titans don't stop him here, they might lose the game. And they don't stop him. Very close, but Harold Landry's got to get out there. Third and 11 from the 49, Mahomes in trouble. Mahomes is going to be taken down by Cameron Wake off the edge. And that's a huge opportunity. No Derrick Henry yet again. Derrick Henry injured for the game, it would appear. And I don't like Adam Humphreys. I just don't. <laughs> All right, fellas. A, you don't have Derrick Henry anymore. You might have called him Derrick Hunter, Hunter at one point. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Over the middle, A.J. Brown. That's what he can do for you. He's a lot faster than you would think he is. Very low for a while for speed, but he's been upgraded quite a bit. Over the middle, it's going to be back to A.J. Brown, I believe. Adam Humphreys was also open, but as once again, I don't like him, so thank you for not throwing to him. <laughs> oh, maybe they'll actually get a... That was the longest 11 seconds in my life. That's what she said. He said, what? See the scoring breakdown? First quarter melted perfectly by the Titans, and then second quarter... It was going to look in favor of the Titans again, and then that costly pick six by Ryan, 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 Ryan Tannehill see, you know, sees them in a deficit situation. Delaney Walker, all right. Inside tight end. Nope, it's going to be outside. A.J. Brown forced, almost picked off and ending the game. If you don't go for this, you probably lose. But if you go for this and you don't get it, you definitely lose, so... This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I think you have to go for it on fourth and five, though. Time is very small right now. And that's definitely what she said to me. And then you punt it like that. Was that a 20-yard punt? God, EA's got to fix their game. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I really like that situation by them. I think uh, they definitely should have went for it, especially with the result of that punt to the outside. And it's going to be caught by Sammy Watkins. Mahomes with the play action. They're just going for it now. Yeah, they're they're just showing off that firepower now. Three minutes left, and this game is basically wrapped up. Late in the uh, fourth quarter. Outside, and that's another first down. They're just not even running it. Like, they're, they're supposed to be, and they're just not. First and goal from the eight. Mahomes, all the time in the world. Back of the end zone. Could be a run this time. Played a little bit safer. You know, waste the clock. I don't know if they know they're up or not. Speaking of up, that freaking punt, uh, the punt, the snap is going up. Third and goal now from the two. Can Shady McCoy have a slippery little score? Let's take a look. He's going to get the handoff, and he will be denied at the one-yard line. The Titans have a very small shot, but I suppose it's a shot. I just think it's cruel that uh, EA expects Derrick Henry to be hurt in the championship round. I think that's messed up of them. Tannehill, they're going to run it again. This time, uh, you know, they get about seven, but the clock is very small right now. It's not the first time I've seen something very small. See it every day. I mean, what? And that will be the game as Ryan Tannehill throws his second interception, and it is thrown to the defensive MVP of the Chiefs, Tyron Matthew. Of course, Chris Jones is another guy you would think of, but Matthew has done a lot for him this season, and that's an amazing play made by him. It would be to A, stop them here, and then block the kick for a touchdown, and then get an onside. Let's see. Nope, never mind. Look at Shady go. Slippery McCoy to the 15, and that will be the game. 39-9 to now, of course. Time for my real prediction for the game. I think the game will be a 33-24 to victory for the Chiefs. I think the Titans are going to show them exactly why they're in the playoffs and doing so well is because they can run that ball. The Chiefs, I know you got some names, but they're just not going to be equipped to stop Derrick Henry. He's going to have his way, but I still expect a Tannehill turnover, and that sounds really cool to say like that. I know he's not turning the ball over at a crazy rate, but this is a very big stage for him. I just, I just think there's going to be mistakes. I think there's going to be a fumble and or interception. Patrick Mahomes, you know, he's capable of making mistakes too. He can throw a pick as well. Are they going to capitalize on it though? I don't know. 
I just think the Chiefs' offense is way too high-powered. If there's any team in the playoffs, you know, throughout the playoffs that were able to stop them, though, it would be the Titans and Niners. So, you know, maybe the Titans can do it. Maybe they can surprise us yet again, which would be really impressive. Wow, their kicker is so good. They showed it twice. The Titans fans were, well, we're not holding on, but they're holding on just to try to keep shocking the world. Here are the stats. So, Damian just under 100 yards. Uh, Derrick Henry injured very early in the game, unfortunately. Tannehill with those six interceptions. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It works for the score. Nothing else. Literally nothing else. 82 overall to the 86 overall Niners. Niners, Packers, of course, the nighttime game. You guys know how much I love nighttime games. This is an interesting matchup. On paper, the Packers just do not match up in the slightest. There is maybe one position, and that is quarterback. <laughs> it's it's the only position, realistically. Uh, you know, Devontae is better than any receiver on the Niners, but as a group, it's not even close that the Niners are a much better receiving squad. Ground game, I think Aaron Jones and uh, and Jamal Williams do match up pretty well. They they definitely do match up with the Niners running backs. Pure talent, two top twos. Probably better than Niners, but since you have three guys on the Niners that you just keep plugging in, keep staying fresh, there's not much to compare. You know, three times, you know, one, two, what? <laughs> but, of course, we know the Chiefs have punched their ticket to the Super Bowl Miami. But, I mean, looking across the board, it's going to come down to Rodgers being elite. He's going to have to show he is the guy. And, honestly, I don't know if it's enough. We, we've seen guys like Brady... Lamar, I mean, well, maybe not Lamar, but Brady, it doesn't matter how good of, of a quarterback you are. At the end of the day, sometimes you're just outmatched. Sometimes you just don't have enough help. The Packers offensive line is great, right? It's pretty damn good. Is it good enough to stop a four-man rush that can get to you better than more most teams can get to you with six guys? You know, it's, I don't know. It's just, the big issue is looking back at the Seahawks game and then looking back at the Vikings game for the Niners, you just see the difference. The Niners dominated their game. This, the Packers, they did really well in the first half, but even then, a lot of it you could tell was because they didn't have a ground game. You know, Marshawn Lynch was literally a lost cause. It was, every time the, the Seahawks ran it, I got excited because I knew it was another play that was wasted. At most, maybe three yards. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'd be willing to say that there's no way Lynch averaged over three yards per carry. There's just no way. There's literally no way that he did. And if he did, it was not by much. And here we go. Jimmy Garoppolo almost picked by Jair. If you get an opportunity, there's a fumble. Almost reminds me of last week versus the Seahawks where we got screwed by the refs, but people forget that and want to say that Jimmy Graham, who was on the line very close, we got bailed. Interesting, you know, interesting stuff. But when you have an opportunity like that, Jair's got to pick that ball. That that's that's the game difference. The Packers are not accustomed to turning the ball over, but if the Niners turn the ball over just enough, if you see two turnovers, if you see the Packers plus two on the turnover ratio, they may have a chance. This is going to be one of those games where, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. We're looking at it at you know 9 p.m. Central, whatever, 8 p.m. Central, and we're like. Yeah, that we expected that, didn't we? <laughs> yep, we knew that would happen. We were hoping it wouldn't, but it, it did. It did. <laughs> but it, it's going to come down to turnovers. You cannot put a price on turnovers. It's just it's the aspect of the game you can't account for. At the end of the day, I think the Niners are coached really well. And I know we're talking a lot about the teams rather than the gameplay, which is fine because, you know, it's it's the same difference. you got the gameplay in the background. you got me talking why is Muhammad Wilkerson on the Packers? I don't know. I just don't. That's another issue. Linebackers. It's it's a problem. It's Blake is going to be destroyed by uh, George Kittle. I, I don't want him to be hurt because I, my biggest thing is winning with Gusto. And I wouldn't want it. But if Kittle gets hurt, that's another chance. If he doesn't, he's going to have over 150. It's it's just that simple. I don't think their ground game is going to be as good as people expect it to be, but I think their short passing to the running backs will be. I think that's where the Packers are going to get absolutely gaped. Now, the one other thing you have to look at is the fact that the Packers played Russell Wilson, who just is 10 times more mobile than Jimmy Garoppolo. So I 
don't think he's going to get away with as much as Russell will. I think Jimmy's going to get hit a decent bit. I think he's going to get pressured a lot during the night. But will it be enough? I don't know. It's really going to come down to the Packers' offense. I, I think the Packers' defense can do it. They can do it. I think they can keep him in the game. But the Packers' offense has got to do better. 100 yards or whatever it was last time, it's not going to cut it. And I worry about this game. And here, ironically, Packers' defense is getting absolutely shredded by Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Jimmy Garoppolo. What the hell are you doing, Tremont? Tremont literally just frisked him. He grabbed all of his knobs and, and nozzles. Decipher that however you want to. Great play by everyone to hit him after he gained a ton of yards. <laughs> Good job, everyone. It'll back over to the right side where he started. This is obviously a run, so you guys should be able to see this. And they do, but Brita would have been stopped if Preston didn't decide to chuck him into the end zone. And that man, Bulaga, he's got to be ready to play. There's no, no excuses this time, no injuries, can't get away with it. Aaron Jones slipping away for about a first down, exactly how he would run. I don't know if the Packers' ground game is going to succeed against the Niners. I don't think it will, but they're obviously going to have to try it. They're going to have to go to it. It's going to be another ground attack. Sherman brings him down with help for only another two-yard gain. I really think that's this is how the Packers are going to start out, too. I think they're going to try to set up the run very quickly. I would not. I would go straight to the bread and butter, the passing attack. And once again, screens are just so bad and mad in this year. It's so bad. Aaron Rodgers couldn't do much about it. You know, it's just the screen game this year. Sorry, pal. Don't follow the narrative. Oh, you got to set up the ground game. Nobody can on the Niners. Just you got to do it. Just play the way you think is going to work. And I think passing on the first play is the best case. It's a blocked punt. The punter picks it up, and they get the ball starting at the 26-yard line. Niners looking to put this one away very early, and this is not what you want to do against the Niners. You do not want to go down early because that, that's the one chance you have. George Kittle's hurt. The one chance you have is to keep up the, with them on the scoreboard early because if they can just hold you on defense, GG, you know, very well. Kenny Clark in company. I think that's going to be short. So third and inches here. Nope, first down. Okay. Forward progress is very, very, very generous. They're just gashing. Second goal from the one sacked off the edge by who the hell is that? Reggie White, how are you? Third and goal from the three. This is a huge opportunity. Should have had to stop the first time around. Look like they have a good chance to stop them this time. Let's see. Blake Martinez, one-on-one -on -one against Brita. Not a good look. Over the middle, Kyle Juszczyk. Wide open. B.J. Goodson, nowhere to be found. Rodgers, time in the pocket. This is very similar to the real-life Packers. Looking for someone open. Nobody gets open and just chucks it underneath to somebody. Clock is dripping away very fast here. Rodgers, a little sidearm back to Jimmy Graham for the first down. Similar to the Seahawks game where it was barely on the line. Look at this, third and inches well over the line to gain. Another sidearm, Devontae with the first down. This is where you call a timeout. They will after they hurry up. Not the worst idea either. Rodgers to the outside. A perfect strike. Dropped. Second and 10 from the 43-yard line. Rodgers looking to throw. Has all the time in the world. Throwing it too early, though. I mean, he's got a three-man rush. Got to realize the situation. I know you want to set it up so you have a third and three chance here. If you run it, you are not smart. I'm just saying. Jones is open. Maybe not to the outside. Absolutely clobbered. Just throwing the ball way too quickly, which I think is ironic because I think that's going to be the key to winning the game is throwing the ball quickly. It's just making the right decisions. You got to you gotta find the, the actual guy that's going to get there. Stats comparison, obviously outgaining them by pretty much three times. Yards per play almost double. I'm not even sure there's going to be a single Packers highlight on this. It just feels like the Packers never had the ball. Which, once again, just like the real life, that was pretty much how the first game went. You know, you put yourself in a situation that nobody thinks you can afford to be in. A situation where you almost can't run the ball. Rodgers, play action look. Has a guy and almost picked off by Sherman. Second and ten. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be the classic Packers. The Packers special. Run the ball on second and ten after the failed pass. Look at them go. God, EA's realism is actually really starting to come alive. If you're not going to run on first down and you can incomplete the first time, if you run on second, you open your window to just all the opportunities to suck. And there, another sidearm. Aaron Jones is going to get three yards. It's going to be another three and out. They are going to hand it off. 
And really good stop, but it's going to be a face mask, and that is so harsh. First and 10 from the 50-yard line. Going to be another run, and there is holes for days. About an eight-yard gain on the play. Jimmy Garoppolo really doesn't even have to play. He literally just hands the ball off, and GG. Underneath, Kittle wide open, comes back from injury. Third and six, chance for a stop, but a field goal at this point probably wins the game anyways. Jimmy with all the time in the world. Kenny Clark with a huge sack, probably knocking them out of field goal range here. Here's a long field goal coming up by Robbie Gould. Does he even have the leg for it anymore? About to find out. It is good. What a freaking kick. That is uh, definitely a Hall of Fame kick right there. Fourth quarter, down 51-0. to zero. <laughs> Yikes. Especially this one. I can't watch for 15 minutes. I'm not watching a third of a real-life NFL game from EA, you know? To the outside, almost stripped. He is stripped, and it's recovered by the Niners. Can we just turn this off, please? Can we just turn it off? Third and inches. Once again, it's really the only chance is like a, a pick six or something and then a successful onside. Inside, there's just no one stopping the Niners. Jimmy Garoppolo looking for the end zone and dropped. Kick is up and it is good. The Niners found a way to score 60 points. 20 points on five minute quarters. And the game's not even over. They could throw a pick six. From the 25-yard line, Rodgers, quick throw underneath. Devontae, is that a first down and a face mask? The chances are here. <laughs> How do they not fix that by now? And there goes Geronimo Allison, who had a very, very big play last game. First and 10, Rodgers all the time in the world. If he gets time like that, GG. Speaking of GG, I said there's a chance they could still throw a pick six, and Richard Sherman's going to make that chance real. This is insane. The Niners win by a score of 90 to 0. <laughs> Basically. Oh my lord. And it's going to be dropped. Well, taken away pretty much on the play, which will lead to a turnover on downs. Of course, that is the game. Uh, I'm whopping near 90 to 0, basically. Uh, we'll just say it's going to be a 40, uh, what, a 54 to 0 game. <laughs> I will say now, like I said, I don't think the Packers have that much of a chance, but they will do better than that. They'll play better than the first game. Uh, a lot of the situations in this one, a lot of short, flat looks, which the, honestly the Packers almost never go at the flats unless it's naked and if it's naked it's because the play broke down so if there's going to be losses it's probably not going to be in the uh the flats if they go to the flats it's going to be successful because like i said they pretty much only go to it if they're wide open but that was that let's take a look at who wins the super bowl in this universe uh chiefs versus niners of course even if you know it is uh chiefs niners will still do an actual video and I think this time we might actually... Ooh, that would be a fun one. I would love to have seen how it would have actually looked. 28 to 24. I think for the next one, we will actually do 15-minute quarters because, you know, I don't have to watch two games. It's just one. So, uh, you know, if you guys want to see that, maybe leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at DronePKR if you're, you know, you want to do that. And, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. There will be a... Uh, what is it called? Blast from the Past video later today. So hopefully you enjoy that as well. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys, uh, well, let me know in the comment section. Who do you think is going to win? What's going to be the key to the win? And who's going to win the Super Bowl? Anyways, hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!